Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're solving problems to do with triangles, so we're going to be using the sine rule, the cosine rule and the area of the triangle formula. So we can answer questions from exercise 9e. Make sure you've seen the previous videos before having a go. So the diagram shows the location of four phone masts in a field. B to C is 75 metres, C to D is 80 metres, the angle between B, C and D is 55 degrees and the angle between A, D and C is 140 degrees. And the question here is, the masts must be at least 70 metres away so they don't interfere with each other. Given that A is the minimum distance from D, find the distance of A to B. So it's this side here that we're looking to find. So sketch that uh, 70 metres onto your diagram because it's at a minimum distance here. And what we probably want to do, given that we're working with triangles for these past videos, is split this triangle somehow uh, into some, um, in, split the quadrilateral into some triangles. So we could either split it across here or down here. I think from evaluating the situation here, it's probably best if we um, divide the triangle down the BD line here. So what we're going to now look at is how we can get over to this triangle here. Now ideally we'd either have a sine rule helping us or a cosine rule helping us. Either way we're going to need to know this angle here. Probably best to find out what this angle, this line here is as well. So we'll start off with finding this line B to D here. And we've got these three values here that are going to be available to help us. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at finding the length from B to D. So we'll call this little a in our uh, cosine rule formula. We're going to use the cosine rule here because we've got uh, two sides and an angle between those two sides. So that perfectly lends itself towards cosine rule. So substituting in the values, making sure you label all of your diagram correctly. And we get A here as 71.7. So 71.7 there. Probably best off to use uh, the longer version when we carry on this question uh, with other values. <clears throat> so what we're going to have a look at now is we've got this side here, we've got this side here. Now it'd be great if we knew what this angle here was. Now it's not just going to be the 140 angle split in two. Um, it's going to be split in two, but not necessarily into halves. So what we might have to do first is work out what this angle here is and then do 140 take away it to get the angle that we're really looking for. <clears throat> so the next thing we need to do here is to use the sine rule here and pair up the 71.7 and the 55 degrees and we're going to need the 75 degrees over here, 75 meters over here to pair up with this angle here. So we're going to be working out the value of a side, so we probably want the signs on the top. Substitute in the values, so 55 will be paired off with 71.7, and 75 is going to be the pair of our missing angle here. So we'll get B is 58.954, 59.0 really, and then therefore the alternate angle here, adding up to make 140, will make it 81.0. Great, so we're basically there. We've got two sides and the angle between those two sides so we can get the length from B to D, from A to B, sorry. So now let's look at this triangle here and it's gonna be a cosine rule formula. So substitute the values into the cosine rule and we get 92.1 meters, okay. 92.1 meters up here. Right, okay then, uh, let's have a go at this question here now. Pause the video and see how far you get. Right, okay then, let's have a go at this question here then. Well done for having a go. So a helicopter flies with a bearing of 200 degrees from A to B. So we'll start it at A and then draw that north line in and then it's a 200 degree bearing. So Three quarters of a turn is going to be 270, so trying to draw it to scale with that would be going down here. So if the full angle here is 1, 200, then this angle here is going to be 160. 
uh, and this will end up at B and the distance here is going to be 70 kilometers. Uh, it then flies with a bearing of 150 degrees, so starting at B, north line at B, 150 degrees around, uh, to C, where C is due south of A. So south needs to come in here. So this position is C here, and it's due south of A. Uh, and the bearing round from here to here was 150. So 150 is the bearing. Uh, work out the distance from C to A, or C from A. So let's uh, draw onto our diagram any more information that we can pick out by playing around with these angles. So what we can work out here is if, is if this is due south, then the north-south line is a straight line. So we can get here that that's a 20 degree angle here. Uh, from the Z angle rules, or alternate angles, this angle here is also going to be 20. So therefore, this angle inside here is going to be 130 as it adds up to 150. So 150 is no longer much use to us. Um, angles inside a triangle add up to 180. So therefore, 20 add 130 is 150. So I need a 30 degree angle in here. And now what I've got is effectively a triangle with 70 kilometers along this side, an angle of 30 here. We need to work out this side here, and we know its opposite angle here is 130. And this here is definitely going to be a version of the sine rule. So given that I need to work out x, I'm going to need x on the top, and it's going to be sine 130 on the bottom, its little pair. And then it's going to be over uh, equal to 70 over sine 30. 30. So therefore, x is going to equal 70 times sine of 130 over sine 30, which is going to equal, let's just grab my calculator and work it out, at 107.24. Two four six two two two, so to three significant figures, it's going to be a hundred and seven kilometers. Okay, there we are. Right, so have a go at lots more questions from exercise nine e. Uh, have a go at the difficult ones. Make sure you persevere through them and ask your teacher if you need any help. Thanks for watching.